Hey, what's going on, DCIS Chemistry? Mr. Sally here coming at you with another demonstration. Today's demonstration involves a property of water that we learned a little bit yesterday. We have two substances that we're going to interact with each other. Our first substance is going to be the elemental substance we know as sulfur. And I know what you're thinking, 1948 called, they want their sulfur container back. <laughs> Burn, shots fired, come on now. Okay, and we'll be placing that sulfur onto water. Now a couple things I want to show you before we actually do the little demonstration is the densities of both sulfur and water. The density of water is about 1.00 grams per milliliter and the density of sulfur is 2.01 grams per milliliter. Well, we learned earlier this year that when you place more dense objects in lesser dense liquids, they tend to sink, okay? But something interesting happens when we place sulfur on top of the surface of water, okay? So put some sulfur on our surface of water here. Looks good, looks good. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm going to take my camera here and show you guys. The sulfur does not sink to the bottom of the water, but rather the sulfur just floats on top of the water. Okay, and looking at this kind of eye level, you see that none of this sulfur actually breaks through the surface of the water, and all of this sulfur is just, just floating on the surface of water. Well, how is this possible? Sulfur is more dense than water. It should sink to the bottom of the water. And in fact, there still is a greater force of attraction between the sulfur and the center of our planet compared to water. But water has a special characteristic. Because water is a polar molecule, water is extremely attracted to other water molecules. We said it has a positive moment and a negative moment, or a positive charge side of the molecule and a negative side charge of the molecule. Those oppositely charged sides can attract different molecules to one another. Think of water molecules as being extremely sticky with other water molecules. So the water in this beaker is acting as a sort of net or like a trampoline that does not let the sulfur go through, okay? So it's these attractions between water molecules that cause the sulfur to stay afloat. Now, there's something that we can do to actually break what we call these hydrogen bonds or these attractions in between water molecules. We can add a little bit of soap. And that's what we're going to do, and it's a really cool phenomenon to watch when we add this soap to our system, okay? We start to see that these attractions between water molecules begin to break down, okay? And the soap is the thing that breaks apart these attractions between water molecules, okay? And this allows then the sulfur to break through the attractions of water molecules so they no longer stay on the surface, but they do what they're supposed to do in terms of density, right? They sink to the bottom. Okay. And thank you for tuning in as always, and hashtag YoCat. I will see you guys soon.